YouTube, this is Charlie426, and today we have something interesting to review. This is the Savage Model Kit from Good Smile Company slash Motoroid. Now, um, this, this is the Savage, like, arm slave slash mech that is seen in the uh, Full Metal Panic series. And a few years ago, not a few, I mean a few months ago, or I think it was either a few months or last year, I did review the Savage Crossbow, which you actually see on the background. Now, at the time, I, I did not like the kit because, number one, there were a lot of flimsy parts. Number two, some parts didn't even fit together to the point where I had to actually glue them up. Uh, but this one, the olive green version, uh, there's been some, I can see some actual Im improvements. Most of the pieces actually do uh, fit together. There's less loose pieces, so I'm actually pretty impressed. And I think back then the Savage Crossbow was filmed with my older camera, so this one's going to be a full review with my new camera at the moment. Alright, so as mentioned, this is not a Bandai model kit, but actually from Good Smile Company, which actually makes the Figma figure line. And if you remember, I also re made a review on the Cherno Alpha uh, model kit that was by uh, Max Factory, I believe, which was also pretty much incorporated with Good Smile Company. So they do make a good amount of stuff out there as well. Um... So yeah, let's get on to the review. So this kit actually does have some differences. Up to until there were three savages before this. Number one was the crossbow, as you can see. Number two was the typical gray ones that we usually see in the series. Number three is the desert color version, which actually has the most equipment. So if that's if you're up for a guy who's like who loves equipment, that's the one you need to get. Okay, so uh, as how my usual reviews goes, we're going to go with components, then the articulation, and then comparison, and then other stuff I need to tell you guys. So yeah, I'm going to put this a little bit to the back and tell you what you're supposed to get. So first of all, obviously, you're going to get the um, the arm slave, the Savage itself. Now you can see there are some differences, as you can see, because this one actually was advertised to be a little bit different uh, in details a little bit. So other than that, what you're supposed to get is these stuff. So a sticker sheet, which I did not use any. But oddly enough, I guess they like to give out spares. They give you two sets of eyes. So I guess if you mess up one or maybe if it gets old, you can always use the new one. Same goes for the other uh, eye. So this one actually comes with uh, two options for heads and a few other areas. So it has like, you have two options for the head, shoulders, and knees. So yeah. And then you get a left trigger finger and a right trigger finger, which is already on the machine gun. And we get the most basic machine gun from the series. Um, and then we have a foldable stock right over here and a peg that you can, so it, you can store it onto the back. And then we have this small piece, which uh, you technically get four, but I only cut off one just to show you guys an example, which uh, I'll show you guys later. Hopefully I don't drop that piece because that is an extremely small piece. Alright, other than that, we have some leftover parts. Number one are these. Now, these are the, if you use the same option as the cro Savage Crossbow version head, these are like the Vulcan areas of the head. So, yeah, you only use two, but they give you another um, extra extra two. So, I don't know, Good Smile Company loves to give out like leftover, either leftover parts or just in case spares if you lose them. Because these are the small type of pieces that are kind of easy to lose, I'm not going to lie. And then uh, this one I accidentally cut off because I wasn't really thinking. But yeah, if you want, if you're going to the, go for the typical savage head, this is the one you're going to be using. And then we have a full, a few plate of leftover parts. Number one is this. So yeah, here we have the the normal uh, shoulders. The feet didn't, they didn't really mention about the feet, but yeah, I think I did use the correct feet. And here we have the back section, which. Uh, yeah, the back of the part where the like weapon racks area is going to be a little bit different as well. So these are the original and the original head. Now the uh, yeah, and they still haven't you know color separated the eye. So if you're going to use this head, you're going to go with the you're going to have to use the red eye sticker unless you're really good at coloring. All right, and then yeah, there aren't many leftover pieces on this one. Come to think of it, I guess I could have cut it off. But here we have the knee sections. And then I believe these were the uh, shoulder sections, if I remember correctly. And let's see, yeah. And here's the remaining three of those those small pieces I just mentioned. All right, so let's get on to the review. Now, those who are more f familiar with Gunpla from Bandai, uh, here's like a small comparison. So the size of this kit is kind of like pretty much a typical high-grade kit. Now, granted, the, the legs are kind of folded up, but you can kind of see... 
uh, the general idea how big these things are. So around the H, a typical one to one, uh, about a HD kit. So yeah, I mean, if I do open up the leg, it's going to be a little bit taller, but yeah. Although I would like to see a bigger version of this kit as well. Okay, so let's get on to the review. So after the articulation, I'm going to go with the comparison with the two, just to show you guys like what different options we have for this kit. Okay, so let's look at the head first. The head, now I do like this head. Now at first when I saw this kit come out or be announced, I thought this was more of a mask. So I thought you, you were able to put uh, a mask on top of the typical Savage head right over here. But turns out it's just a whole entire new head. And if I remember correctly, this is the actual Savage. Uh, this one's actually a Russian Savage. Uh, and was actually one of the bases for the Savage Crossbow from the Invisible Victory, if I remember, uh, remember correctly. Because this one's a more older model than the typical normal Savages, but it has a more quiet engine slash reactor inside of it. So yeah. Uh, so the head, definitely having a more rusty look onto it. We have a small machine gun on the face right over here. And I'm not sure what this hole is. I'm going to assume it's either like a flashlight or this is where the bullets come out. And then we have uh, red eyes. Now, I did color them myself, and it turns out there was a little bit smudge that came out, so I'm going to have to scratch those out later. But I think I did a pretty good job, and it kind of reminds me of the Hypno Toad from Futurama, actually. So it has a pretty good articulation. It can go up that much, down that much, and then 360 twist is possible, because this thing is actually on a ball joint. Although, any ball joints you see on this kit, it's not going to be easy, easy to connect with anything, because these do, this kit does not use any poly caps, so everything here is plastic. And then let's get the back, and we have these four holes, and I'm, let's just hope I just am able to do this. So, uh, those small piece, what they're meant for, you only get four, but basically, the, its main purpose is to basically, if you don't want to have those holes, you can pretty much clog it up with this small piece right over here. Which is something that is a nice thing, I guess. And I'm not sure if the Savage Crossbow actually had this aspect in it, so I might need to recheck, but yeah. Alright, so let's get the shoulders. The shoulders have... A pretty good range of movement for uh, despite how this thing looks like so we have a forward and backward movement and then we have an extra moving point right over here and the arm itself is connected to a ball joint so that gives even more range of movement and since it's on a ball joint 360 twist is no problem 90 degrees to the side is also no problem and we get a 360 twist on the arm itself now the savage crossbow uh I think it was one of the arms that these parts are were very loose where the point it would not stay in position it doesn't have any that's a stiff feeling so it was it would just rotate on its own very bad and then the arms itself we have more than 90 degree bend and we have a ball jointed hand now these are all plastic so keep that in mind no poly caps inside all right now we have the big belly body so uh, well, and we do have a waist section and we do have an ab crunch although I'm not really sure this is considered an ab crunch because of how the structure is but yeah so despite how fat it looks like it does have a decent amount of articulation than you think and then the waist section there's no weight skirt uh, well technically yeah there's no front skirt or back skirt because it has the, the typical underwear design here uh, but we do have a, like a semi, semi side skirt which I assume is more of an armor to, con to protect the joints of the legs and yes, I did panel line a little bit here on the head back of there and then the back here. So the legs can go 90 degrees up front and has a nice double jointed bend and ball jointed uh, feet. Once again, no poly caps. And then we have a hole here and then it's 90 degrees to the side. Not much, not so possible because of how there's some stuff colliding right over here. All right, and we've seen the basics of it actually. So obviously the well, I guess you could kind of rotate the the body left and right a little bit, but uh, I think this is as far as I go. So less than 90, deg 90 degrees. All right. So before we go on with the equipment, let's go with the comparison. So let's see what are the difference. So obviously they are different, but if you want to make a green version of the of the typical savage, it, as you can as you saw the leftover pieces, you can. So, yeah, so these are the different options. So, number one, you can either use the he typical head or you can use the very more rusty looking head. Number two is the shoulders. The shoulders, once again, there's no lines here. This one is pretty much a flat metal. So, it still gives out that more old rusty look. And then the knees. Once again, lines, no lines. Uh, the feet, well, it's really up to you. If you want to have full green feet, be my guess. But, yeah, and I think in the I basically made it 
the same as the manual tell told me and I ended up with these brown feet so yeah and then one more detail is that on the back so so these are the parts that connects the weapons to store in the weapons and you can see they're actually different designs so yeah so I think these four ones it kind of gives out that more more typical frog look I mean if you look at the back of a frog you have these a lot of lumps going on and yeah I think this is this actually gives out that image as well all right so yeah that was pretty much it for the difference but overall uh, what I was really impressed by this kit was that I, I wasn't I didn't need to use any glue there were less stiff pieces I mean there there is one slightly loose piece but it's not a really big deal so very I can actually see some improvements so I'm really glad that happened so if they if good smile company makes another savage kit or they actually make another full metal panic kit I'm, I'm definitely up for it at this point okay so the only weapon you get for this one compared to the savage crossbow is the machine gun so yeah, if you're a type of guy who's like really cares for like equipment, this might not be for you, but yeah. So the hand, the, this thing does not have a hold and pick system, so the gun is going to be a little bit wobbly. And the hand connection, not, I'm not talking about the ball joint, but the way how you connect the weapon to the hand. The hand is not as firm, it's not a firm connection as you think. So if you wobble the gun around, the hand will pop out actually, or be uh, disassembled. But yeah, your typical machine gun, and then the stock is foldable, so you can, if you want to, you can open up the stock if you need to. And what's this? At least because of a of a more stable arm, you can pull out more, more you know, natural poses. So yeah, you can have the double hand stance if you need to, or uh, if you don't, if you want to have the open, typical open hands like this. As once again, no poly caps. Um, you can take off the hand and then fold up the stock, and then we have a peg here. And this peg can be pretty much used on any any of these holes. You can put in a store it here, or there are there's oops sorry about that. So there's also this. I believe these are the same size. So if you want to somehow connect it to the shoulder, you can do that. Come on. And then there's also holes on the elbow, and I think these are the same type of holes. I believe. Yep. So yeah, there's a lot of options here. So if you have like multiple Savage kits or if you have that brown Savage, there you can pretty much load this thing up if you need to. And that's pretty much it for the review. Now I actually do like this because you actually have a different option. So because there, ha there are now officially four Savage kits from uh, Good Smile Company and three of them are pretty much practically the same. But this one actually provides something different. So this is definitely a nice refresh or a, bit, a pretty good collection. And I'm actually thinking of either getting the Robot Damaji Savage or getting the other, uh, that desert color version if I can. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the review. This was the review of the Savage Kit Olive Green color version from Good Smile Company. Um, it's pretty basic and there's been an improvement, so if you want to try something new, definitely worth trying out. Anyway, thank you for, for watching the review. If you guys got any questions or requests, leave them comment below. I still have more stuff to buy and build and make reviews out, so please stay tuned. Until then... See you guys next time!